My in-studio guest, Clyde Donato, who lost his son to a suicide. Let's go to George uh, from Humanic. George. George. Yeah. Yeah. You're on. Uh, audience. George, go ahead. You're on. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Clyde, how are you, my friend? Good, sir. Good. Can you hear me? Yes, yes. sir. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, you know me, right? Remember we are in the guard together? Yes, sir. Yes, yes. Anyway, uh, I just called just to give you uh, uh, some words of encouragement. I know it's hard uh, losing someone in the family and that's close to you, no matter whether it's your wife or your child or anybody else. It's really hard. It, uh, the emotion really builds up. And uh, uh, I remember when I lost my wife last year, it was, it was really hard for me. It took me a while to get away, but uh, I've been praying and I've been talking to friends. I've been going places, you know, not not a place where it's very discomforting. Though that's what friends are for. You have to remember and uh, talk to your good friends, the ones that can actually give you guidance and uh, and uh, words of encouragement. Like me, you know me. I know your wife. I know your family. Sure. But um, my friend, just ask the Lord to guide you and uh, and carry forward and, uh, you know, uh, and cherish uh, the good thing about being around with your family, especially this time okay. of the season. I know it's hard for you and, and anybody else is encountering, but okay. like I said, even me, uh, there are times where I think about getting close to doing those kind of stuff, but somehow somebody's guiding me not to because yeah. there's always uh, a day much better than today That's or right. tomorrow will mm -hmm. be a much better day okay. instead of today or yesterday yeah. but okay thank you george thank you thank you thank you thank you george happy holidays and uh, happy holidays you know uh thank you take it easy just okay. just you know Th do what what is right for you and uh, thank, uh, thank you very much george i appreciate your, your call this evening clyde any uh, any regrets and and what advice would you you give to to survivors out there well, Jess, uh, first of all, I'd like to thank the caller for the, those words of encouragement and um, basically uh, the regrets um, that I have for the loss of my son. My son was an adult, um, and he chose to, to, um, to take this. Um, but the biggest regret I have right now is, is, the, um, is not having the knowledge I have today that I've learned um, by, by going to the support groups, by going to and seeking help from the organizations that the, su su uh, the survivor um, organizations uh, and, and uh, suicide campaigns. That's my biggest regret, not knowing that. And I, I, I would like to encourage um, everyone out there um, to take some kind of, of um, safe talk or assist train. I, c I use the analogy and compare that with CPR mm -hmm. and first aid. We're all taught CPR and first aid because one time in our life we're going to be able to, to use that knowledge. Maybe we won't, but when the time comes, we'll be prepared to save someone. And mm -hmm. that breath uh, that you give in CPR could be the, the difference between life and, life and death. And, and, and this is what the suicide campaign is all about. Mm -hmm. it's, it's about the knowledge and being prepared when the time comes. And that's my biggest regret, Jess. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I'm, 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 I would like to go straight into the into into i like to thank the peace organization under the direction of bobby beneventi her staff um the survivor support group uh, my wife uh, my family and friends for the support that i've had since the loss of my son and it's their encouragement um that has given me to be where i'm at and the drive to to be a a uh, an advocate in in in, in the prevention of suicide and I'd like to appeal right now to the to the lawmakers and, and the organizations that support these uh, support these campaigns that that it, it is a necessity in our in our in our community. And I like to compare um, suicide with a typhoon. And and when a typhoon uh, hits a community, it, it, it basically everybody's in despair. Mm -hmm. But there's somebody that comes around to try to get everybody back in place, mm -hmm. and that's FEMA. Yeah. Well, in suicide. The FEMA for suicide is, is the suicide campaign and support groups. Uh, and it doesn't hit home. It, 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 it's not until it hits home. Mm -hmm. and it's, it's when the feeling is there. And as a survivor, it's good to know that we have these people. And I'd like to encourage the, the, you know, the lawmakers to please support. Please continue to, mm -hmm. to, to have the campaign go on. 
the other thing is the holiday season is upon us. Mm -hmm. um, there are, and you said on your last show, there, there are many that are misfortunate. There are many that are not um, where they're supposed to be mm -hmm. and, 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 and happy with, uh, with pain. And I just like to ask everyone to just be a considerate and, and acknowledge the pain that's out there and, and try to s comfort someone. Mm -hmm. Lastly, um, uh, Thanksgiving was last week. And, um, you know, um, I get up, we need to get up every morning and be thankful and have Thanksgiving and be thankful for life. And, and we need to just continue to, to focus on life and loving life, Jess. And basically that's... Uh, you know, George, as a father, from one father to another, man, this is tough. But um, thank you for, for what you do, for the awareness that you, you bring out there to, to, to the people, and for what you're sharing. Um, your loss will be the Gu Guam's gain, basically, in sharing what you've gone through and sharing that, yeah, there are, bu there are bumps on the road. And there will continue to be bumps on the road going to be like Guam potholes <laughs> that yes. we fix it today, but tomorrow there'll, there'll be another pothole. Yes. But we have to move on. Yes. We have to move on. How are your wife and daughter doing? Yeah. Um, you know, uh, like I've learned, um, the grieving process in suicide is very personal and, and everybody grieves in their, in their specific way. And, and that's what I found out. And, and, and so significant about grieving, everybody has their way that they grieve. And we must respect the way they, they, they grieve. And some will grieve for a long time. Some would, would get over it in a, such a short time. But um, it is, it is uh, an individual process. And I learned to respect that process and learn how to, of course, I there mm -hmm. for encouragement to, mm -hmm. to, you know, try to be yeah, like me and, and talk about it. Yeah. And, and George, we find out, Clyde. of course, uh, or I'm sorry, <laughs> Clyde, <laughs> George, George, Clyde. Yes, um, we, um, yes. No one, no family is immune yes. to this. It's like a cancer. There, no, there's no immunity to this, yes. and you it highly discriminate. That that no discrimination. Yes. You obviously are an advocate for the peace office and organizations out there. Yes. And most especially as we get into the holiday season. Yes. Please, uh, again, call, get involved. Yes. Lawmakers fund the programs. Right. Yes, <laughs> thank you very much. Appreciate. It. Thank, thank you, you for having your, me. Your, thank your, you for having your story. Me. Hey, George.